Good morning and welcome to Valley Views. I'm your host, Glenn Edison. We're certainly glad to have you today and we're thankful for our sponsor, BTC Fiber. You can see us on BTC Fiber's YouTube page as well as cable channel 28 of the BTC Fiber uh, cable company. Today we have with us Bob Johnson and Jared Morrow. Uh, they're the developers of the Magnolia Flats on uh, it's, uh, Michigan Lane, right? Correct. Yes. Right. Uh, uh, well, first of all, thank you for being with us today. And thank you for having We appreciate us. you coming in on such a short notice because I know you've got some tight schedules to go by. But um, we want uh, to inform people about your new development that you have down off of West Valley Road there and uh, past the, uh, it's past the Cloverdale subdivision, actually next door to the subdivision, actually, uh, near there. But um, what, uh, first of all, what, what made y'all decide to, uh, to you come and build there. I mean, was it something you were just looking looking for some? I actually, because um, I live in a local area, I um, was networking with um, some individuals that were involved in the construction industry here, and uh, had shared that um, myself and Bob were looking for opportunities to bring um, affordable homes, multifamily homes to Dunlap, and this individual that's local. Uh -huh. um, took me to this property uh, on Michigan Lane and uh, I then pers pursued with it and uh, spoke to the seller and that's how it was started so local networking well I know <clears throat> that those two uh, flats that were already there those concrete pads have been there for years yeah and actually then, 11 years and well, uh, it never did get started the, the benefit of, of, of the land is that the infrastructure was already there the road was there the sewers were there uh -huh. We looked at other projects where it was going to cost millions to put the infrastructure in. So this kind of landed in our lap and we thought it was a great opportunity. We realized that Dunlap, after talking to the mayor and the Chamber of Commerce, that Dunlap really has a, a housing shortage. Yes, they do. And we thought that we could make a difference and one of our focus has really been to build quality affordable housing at a fair price to the community. And then hopefully set them up with our potential buyers and future buyers with gracious financial terms. So we're using Mountain Valley Bank as our as as our financing bank um, for hopefully for a lot of the mortgages on our properties. Mm -hmm. Well, good. I know, I know they'll be good to work with. Yes, they've been great. I've mean, always been, been a good great. partner. <clears throat> well, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, well, first of all, let's uh, tell folks a little bit about yourself so they'll uh, know who you are, so they'll understand who they're dealing with. And uh, was, was Yeah, I'll start. So I'm Jared. Um, I've been in the uh, real estate industry for about 20 years, uh -huh. um, starting when I was in my early 20s building large custom homes. Um, I've been in the local community here going on three years now, and uh, I have family that's been in the Dunlap area for 20 years, uh, as well as involved with... Uh, law enforcement, paramedics, um, so very involved with the community. So, uh -huh. um, and then over the last 20 years, I've also evolved into um, flipping houses, rehabbing homes, as well as owning uh, a local apartment building here in town that um, needed renovated. And uh, now it's um, a very nice place to live here in town. Well, so that's a little about me. <clears throat> All right, Bob? Uh, I guess I'm the newbie. <laughs> I've, uh, Jared brought me down here two years ago and um, with, you know, to look at real estate opportunities. Uh -huh. I've been involved in real estate in the capital markets and investing for over 25 years. Uh, so my expertise is really more on the investing side where Jared's is on the building side. Uh -huh. So, you know, that makes us ideal partners because he doesn't know my business as well as I know it and he's much more, um, uh, season and, and on the building side so we, we work well together from that aspect oh good because when you put that together there's uh, yeah it's, it's a good, good team yeah, it's yeah, a really good team right. effort so you know, I, I I'm learning from him and he's learning from me so mm -hmm. it's, it works well well in that area down there is a it's a pretty area actually because uh, when you get through uh, building your development there you'll be able to see both mountains yes I noticed yesterday with the the green coming on the trees. I'm like, where's that mountain? But yes, yeah. it's, uh, um, yes, we agree. <clears throat> it's, it's a beautiful place down there. Uh, you know, and 
uh, it's growing down that way, mm-hmm. actually. Mm-hmm. But we like the area because it's quiet, it's convenient, the schools are nearby. And yeah, the location is it's great. It's perfect. You have a, what, soccer field? The uh, soccer fields. Soccer fields the and park. baseball and softball fields. And, and yeah, it's really awesome for families. <clears throat> And, it, and it's, it's, you know, if you're a cyclist or a nature lover, it, it's quiet and you're going to, you could probably have a lot of animals, mm-hmm. you know. Well, I know there'll be deer and turkeys down there because I've seen them. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> you, you better like nature. <laughs> yeah. And then, then there's some that you name, rattlesnakes and stuff you don't want to see. Correct. Yeah. Well, what, uh, maybe they're not down there where you're going to develop. Let's hope not. I oh, uh, have one now. Let's put a good one. <laughs> well, now, uh, uh, let's talk about your uh, townhomes. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. You correct. Correct. Yes. Term uh, how many? Uh, I know you're going to start with the two. Is that correct? Four. Four. Four units. So we're we've already broke ground on four townhomes. Um, each townhome is three bedrooms, two bath, ranging from 1,200 square feet up to 1,400 square feet. Um, I will stress that these are for sale. Uh-huh. These are not a rental product. Um, each property, the buyer can kind of customize finishes. And our intentions is to have the first phase or the first four completed by late summer. Late summer. And then um, we have um, plans of building a total then of 40. 40. Yeah. Well, that's <clears> the <throat> nice, I got a little cold sack, you know, fits mm-hmm. clear. You got plenty of room there. Correct. And each each property, each townhouse, the homeowner would have their own land, their own yard. Um, and but what we're including um, is a three year landscape and mowing contract. Oh, okay. To each property. So basically, for the first three years, everything will be taken care of on the outside for the new homeowners oh, as that's, well that's so nice. so it's kind of like an association a condo living maintenance free yeah especially for those first three years can you just come down to my street just drop sure i will <laughs> i'll send james down <laughs> do you want to add anything um no i think that pretty much covers it i think really we would like early buyers to have the ability to customize their spaces their spaces because because obviously as they sell they will go up uh-huh. in price so this is the best time really to to get in because we just broke ground and the introductory price is is very attractive yeah. so um and i don't know if i mentioned it we are planning on starting these around 159,000 and up depending oh, okay. on finishes the size which one they choose location etc cetera, etc cetera. so and, and you mentioned about uh getting early and dis- discussing some of the needs that'd be like the countertops correct what color they want yes that type yeah of thing. from the paint on the wall to the countertops mm-hmm. to the flooring types of lighting um, like i said almost like a custom home concept but obviously as i keep building as we keep building and i get to those finishes you know that's why getting in early is great because the longer you wait, I could already have it painted and I could have countertops put in. Right. However, I will stress that the, we also are planning on having a model unit right. so people could come in and see the options for the potential upgrades and see a layout. So we are thinking about um, building one of those as well. Well, that, that'd be good. People could come in and actually see what they're mm-hmm. getting. And, and all these will be single level, is that correct? Mm-hmm. They'll all be single fa- single family, one floor, ranch style, um, open floor concept, nine foot ceilings. Um, but yes, they will all. And each each unit gets dedicated two parking spaces, and there'll be visitors parking there. But they'll have two dedicated parking spots that go with each property, so there won't be a parking problem, and they right. won't have to be on the street parking, obviously. So, <laughs> right. Yeah, we don't want them on <laughs> no, West Valley. No, no, <coughs> no that's. Uh, uh, and uh, of course, I know some people would question, say, "Well, of course, there's trucks all the time going down there to the rock crusher and everything." But uh, you know, we have plenty of traffic through there anyway with the ball fields and stuff, mm-hmm. so that's really not going to be an issue getting on. Right. Because it's actually an easy access because you yep. can see down down and up the street. Yep. So and Dunlap Stone closes at three, so yeah. the trucks stop early. <laughs> actually, I, I, I've never even seen a truck. It was funny. I only noticed a couple yesterday. Yeah, um, I never really but, noticed one. Actually, Dunlap Stone's property is beautiful back there. Yes, you drive it really back is. In there, it's, it's pretty nice. It's so. really a quiet area. 
That's what I've noticed about it. It's quiet. It's it is quiet. And it's you a lot know of birds. it backs up to a lot of open space on the uh -huh. other side. So, when we first, because uh, uh, I lived just down the road, and when we fir first night we moved into our house, of course we had the windows open. It was during the summer, and and we stayed awake all night because it was quiet. We'd been used to noise. You're right. <laughs> and I kept thinking, well, it's quiet, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But even with their windows closed, you it's hard to hear the ballpark unless somebody hits a, makes a home run or a good hit. Then you hear people scream and all that. Right. But, right. But you re rarely hear the park unless you're outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, and, and our uh, intentions for the space is to keep as much of the greenery and the trees um, as possible. You know, as we clear out the space. Our plan is to keep them as wooded as we can keep them, to to have that scenery. And when you also have that uh, that lot next to um, the park area, or actually two lots. Yes, on that side. Yes, on the, on there's that a creek. Side. There'll be a creek behind those units, um, behind those townhomes, which would be on the would that be the west side? Yes. The west side. Those will have a, a creek, small creek in their backyard. So, um, yeah. In that area, uh, in case people are wondering, it's, it's not prone to flooding. I mean, I've, I've lived there for 30 years, and I, uh, I mean, sometimes the, the roads get a little water on them, but, uh, but it, you, it runs off pretty easily. Right, and actually, important to note, the, um, of the property on that side of the street is in a floodplain, but they will be removed out of the floodplain prior to construction. And why that is important um, for a homeowner is the insurance costs then uh, right. will be minimal because we're removing it out of the floodplain. There's also been a um, system put in with culverts for any drainage that really is the capacity of this drainage system uh -huh. can can withstand the forty comp the forty townhomes. So. The infrastructure is there and really is really gone above and beyond. So the, the flooding that was occurring years and years and years ago uh -huh. has, has dissipated, has gone away because of the system that the previous owner put in um, to the subdivision. Right, and like you said, that was there. I noticed, because uh, I wasn't aware of that until yesterday when I drove down the road and I thought, oh, there's already sewer here and there's a fire yeah. hydrant down through yeah, the Yeah, the culvert's in, and, and, uh, the drainage system's in. So, so. Uh, that's that's a plus. That was it. That's what attracted us to the property. It was, you know, the infrastructure was there. Um, everything was ready to go. All we had to really do was pour pads and... Start. Start, yeah, and get, make sure we have the appropriate crews in to complete the work right. on schedule. Right, because depending on the size of the property, that could have been uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars in infrastructure. Oh, easily, easily the cost and and the risk. Obviously your risk changes and your timetable changes because to put the infrastructure in, but but we've uh, we've already started working with the local utility companies to uh, finish the connecting of all the utilities. They've been great. There's a plan in place. Um, so we're excited <coughs> about that. <clears throat> So um, you said you're um, anticipating op first openings next summer. No, or, we're or we're, anticip summer? we're anticipating the first four um, will be completed by late summer. Oh, okay. Obviously, if if we get a lot of interest right out of the gates, we will start the second four immediately, and would probably push back an extra month to have those completed. So those could be early fall, but our goal. My goal is to have the first four done before school starts, which is around middle of August, correct? Yeah, right. Um, however, like Bob stressed, you can still be active and look at purchasing one up front because you then would be able to customize the finishes. Right. But well, again, and the, the, summer. The, th the thing I like, because uh, I just live, like I say, just a little ways down the road. Oh, that's right. And it's right there at the schools. Schools are less than a mile away. Town is less than a mile away. Yeah. Ball you know, fields, you're, you're, park. You're, you're right there. Yeah, right the, there. the convenience is really notable. Mm -hmm. Stores, schools, mm -hmm. the town, um, you know, and access to, you know, major thoroughfares. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to go to, uh, to the, hit the interstate, go south, you just 
go over. Right, <laughs> right, right exactly, down 28. I mean, exactly. It, so it's really a good spot. Yes. Yeah. Um, and it's distressed. It's in the city limits. Right. So it's on. It's city water. We've already said it multiple times. It's on city sewer. This is. There's no septic systems. There's no well water. It's all connected to the city. So. <clears throat> well, that that's great because I know that's going to be a, a a good thing for the for the people who are interested. Of course. In this. Of course. You know, because uh, you get much further down is septic systems. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Like I live on. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. and like we all have, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, so. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, well, that, that's great. Uh, now, how can they contact uh, y'all for more information? So the plan um, right now uh, to, to get more information is you will contact the chamber. Um, you probably know yeah, the number. 7608, I think is the correct number. 423-949-7608. Yes, and um, the, the young ladies here will take the call. They, there's some questions they'll probably, they will ask of you. Um, and then from there, um, if, if the interest continues and, or grows, then you will be in touch um, with myself uh, or Bob, and um, we will start the process at that point. Um, we can always put a, we would then put a contract together with the agreed upon finishes uh -huh. and upgrades, and then obviously with a completion date. And then at that point, we would also, um, if the homeowner was interested, we would put them in touch with Mountain Valley Bank for any lending um, right. that they might need. They're good partners. Yeah. Um, let's see. What, now, I uh, <clears throat> want to reiterate, these are three bedroom, two bath, is that correct? Right. Yeah, three bedroom, bedroom, two bath, 1,200 square feet to 1,400 square feet, depending on which unit the the homeowner would want to buy. Right. And uh, starting at 159,900 and up. Again, the reason we say it up is because of the finishes, but the finishes right, will be. Right. Also, I could I missed to stress the outside facade will be a mixture of brick, siding, and stone. Oh, okay. And each unit will have kind of a different facade. They won't look all. The, they will not look the same. So it gives them more of that home feel. But the front uh, will. They will look different with the finish of the facade on the front. Okay. And I know yesterday you had a, a I guess, a open house ribbon cutting, mm -hmm. I guess, type mm -hmm. thing. Went great. And uh, it was uh, pretty good, I thought. Yes. Uh, yeah. And, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, For what we had to work with. And <laughs> we built, we built our wall. The food was great. Yeah, yeah. I had, uh, the food was wonderful. And we already have a wall up. So um, if you want to see, touch and feel and see it, you can kind of see <laughs> it. And uh, we appreciate um, everyone in the community helping out. And, Y'all are coming out. Yeah, especially the uh, the mayor, Clint. The Clint, Mayor Clint, and the Chamber of Commerce, okay. Janice's team. We can't thank them enough. Yeah. And, of course, Mountain Valley Bank mm -hmm. for financing our efforts and providing, hopefully, gracious uh, financial terms <laughs> for our future. Sorry, Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that uh, that'll yep. yeah. that, 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 that work. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, they're they're good people to work with. They are great. And, and I'm uh, always yeah. uh, willing to do everything they yeah. can. I have my personal residency with them. I have my other properties all through them, and um, they they're will get people. they will continue to get our business because it's important to us to build relationships. Uh, something else to stress is our um, our team of um, trades. Our tradesmen are all local trades. They are from the local community. They're not from Chattanooga. Um, they are all from the Dunlap or the Valley, and uh, and we will continue to employ local um, tradesmen for our project. Well, that keeps the interest here, of course. Instead of somebody just coming in, doing a job, and then going home. Right. Right. <clears throat> so I can't stress enough that because of our focus with local help, we we have the support to try to hit these this completion dates. So. All right, well, is there anything else that we've left out y'all need to include? No, just that I would just say that this is, for us, this has, like, been a two-year goal year or and dream, and um, and hopefully the first of many projects that we do in Dunlap and the sur surrounding communities. Well, great, uh, great. Right. We feel like if we can keep up with this process and, and, and make it happen, that, you know, future projects for us will be, you know, much easier and we'll add a lot of value to the community. Well, good, good. I know it'll, it'll also uh, help the home values in that area. As of well. course, right. Yeah. And uh, again, can't stress enough keeping them affordable to, to help 
the local community. And uh, I'd just like to say on behalf of the city how excited we are uh, with this uh, Magnolia Flats uh, development coming in. Obviously, housing is a big need uh, here in our community, and, and we're excited, and, and we just want to support as much as we can. Thank you, Clint. I want to thank the mayor for his time. I want to thank Janice and the chamber for uh, putting this event together. I want to thank my family and friends, and uh, of course, Bob, for to make this happen. Well, I'd say this. It's, you know, Jared brought me down here two years ago. I didn't know what I was getting into. And I still don't know what I'm getting into. <laughs> but I can promise you this, is that our, our, as Jared likes to say, our hearts are in the right place. And we're gonna do a great job in building quality homes down here. So with that being said, I'd like to welcome Rhea Huth, who's a chamber board member, and from the Sequatchie County Dunlap Chamber of Commerce. We're excited that you're here for affordable housing that is not Section 8 housing. Uh, it's, it's wonderful that you're here. We're going to cut the ribbon. It's probably a ground breaking ribbon cutting. If you need more information, call the chamber at 949-7608. Uh, we'll have the information to provide for you, and we'll have stuff online too, uh, materials online. Thank you. So Thanks. here we go. Pictures Ready? for One, the cutting. Two, three. <laughs> Again, that's Magnolia Flats on Michigan Lane. Check them out. Go by and uh, look. And if you have more, need information, contact the chamber here, and they'll give you some information. And uh, we'll be looking forward to having you. Hey everybody, this is Glenn Edison from Valley Views. We appreciate you watching our shows and we would like for you to like, share, and follow us on Facebook as well as like and subscribe to our YouTube page. Brought to you by Bledsoe Telephone Cooperative, your full-service telecommunications provider right here in the Sequatchie Valley.